Mouse vlog, Liam Mouse vlog, it's Liam Mouse's vlog. Well, we're going to Books A Million now for possibly, probably the last time. No. Oh. It is done. And here's the love's outfit of the day. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're so cute and weird. Thanks. Good job, love. Oh. <laughs> this just in, this might not be our last time out here because we are really, really fond of this area, so. But just in case, I'm still gonna vlog and plus I'm vlogging anyway, because it's fun. <laughs> well, stop to dumping boo 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 boo. Stop to dumping donuts. <laughs> we stopped at Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, dumping donuts. It's just a it's a it's like a buffet of dumpsters and you just dumpster dive for you know whatever you can find <laughs> yeah. and that's your meal. Um, no anyway, we stopped at Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast foods and played the lottery. But we're definitely gonna win. Definitely. Here we go. For maybe the last time. Maybe. Maybe. Not necessarily. But at least definitely close to the last time. You just hit my butt. <laughs> Butter try this. Well, thank you, my dear. <sighs> what is this crap? This is not the good music that I know them for. Yeah. So we're going to box lunch because I ordered a popcorn machine when they were having a sale online and it came in. They emailed me and told me it came in now. So we're going to go pick that up and no more explanation needed. I don't know why I feel the need to ramble all the time. Here we go. <laughs> Retro handheld console. There was nothing that small. Yeah. I'm sorry. It smells sweaty in here. Yeah, it does. Yeah, there he is. She, she. Your receipt should you need it. <laughs> okay. And anything else we can help you out with? That's it. Yay, thank you. So we finally got. Yay. I got popcorn sheen. Oh my god, look, they have a Pizza Planet pizza box from uh, uh, Toy Story. Oh, is that what that's from? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's funny. It's a men's sleep paint. It's one oh, leg. Oh my one god. Leg. They have a Mickey Mouse crock pot. I did it, I got my popcorn sheen. I'm all excited now. <laughs> now we can take her home to join the family. She said, <laughs> Look at the popcorn is fluffed. I know, it's so cute. She's nomming the popcorn. Here we order small coffees, a room for cream in both, and a lemon bar. I know, this is not. Oh, that's <laughs> so balance. That was cute. I got too much into it. I closed my eyes and took my head back. Oh. <laughs> Every time I see that, I think of Age of Empires. Hire me. Oh. Because it's hiring. Because there's a, a boat called like Byreme and a Trireme in okay. Age of Empires. That's the link. Oh. Really? Potato chip chocolate? This is what we've come to. Focus. Thank you. So we had ordered our coffees and it took a while to make um, because he had to make like a pot or something like that. But uh, super cool. We only got smalls, but he brought us each a large. So that was really nice. Free upgrade. I think it's a sign. We're definitely going to win the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> the drawing is on April 3rd, by the way. So um, we're playing the what would you do with the money if you won the lottery game? I'd invest probably like 75% of it. Keep about 15% of it. Keep it in like a checking account that that's my operating budget. If I want to do anything, it's right there. Mm -hmm. And the rest of it, I hoard it. Yep. Like mattress. Like mattress? <laughs> Under a mattress. Yep. See, I would do s sort of similar to, the, to that. I would like, 90 million is the figure that we're working with here. And I said, I don't even know what I would do with that. I really, I really don't. I would just be like, God. I would probably just continue to live the way I am living yeah. and hoard it because I have this thing where if I have a lot of something, I tend to hoard it. 
like my DVDs, my books, now machine, <laughs> stuff like that. I just, I don't know, I, and like baking supplies, craft supplies, art supplies, I just tend to hoard stuff if I have a lot of it. That's, I don't think money would be any different because I would, I don't know, I'd probably let you help me invest it because that's a smart thing to do if I'm not using it. I'd probably buy a big house. Yeah. Like, not like a big Hollywood mansion, but like a big house. Three, four thousand square feet. Yeah, and so that we could do the rooms. And just hook it up. It's how like, we wanted, yeah. yeah. And um, maybe buy like another house in another place to have like the summer house thing. But that's really all I would blow the money on. The rest of it, I would just like, I would travel and be like, hey, you feel like going to Niagara Falls? I want to go to Niagara Falls. Let's go to Niagara Falls. Yeah, we go for like a month. Yeah, just like hop on a plane and, and go. Nothing. Yeah, exactly. Stuff. I would yeah. use it to just live. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that, that's a, I mean, we already talked about this. The best part of it for me will be not to live ostentatiously, but it's freedom. Yeah, if exactly. I had millions of dollars, I'd be like, I'm off the military, I don't care, I'm not going to work for the rest of my life, I'm just going to live off of it. Yep. And I don't care about, like, I would invest it because I think I'm inherently, it's ingrained in my character to invest. Like, I would probably buy a new car because I've never had a new car. That's yep. exciting. But it wouldn't be like a luxury car. Yeah, it would like, just be a new car. Yep. Like a new Nissan or something. I'd have like a $30,000 car at, at max, it'd be new, and I'd hook it up. But I probably wouldn't put more than like 40 grand, like total, to include the price of the car. Mm -hmm. And I just drive a nice car, but not like a rich, like a Rolls Royce or something right. crap like that, or a Lamborghini. I know, and I'd still shop at the thrift shop. I'd, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd buy a nice piece of clothing every once in a while, but not any nicer than like 50 bucks for a dress or something. Yeah. Not like, you know, what do you call it? Um, the fancy New York crap. I'm mean, like oh, $700 for yeah. a pair of pants or some crap. I wouldn't do that. That's, that's no, insane. And I would still only work on verse. And I would still make YouTube videos. Yep. I probably wouldn't still make candles because screw that. <laughs> I've been watching this play, kid play soccer with his sister for like a while. <laughs> That's so cute. He's actually pretty good. <laughs> he's like so erratic, but he's really good at handling the ball. Yeah, he is. He's so cute. He's the amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> he's got so much energy. I can't remember having that much energy ever. <laughs> he keeps wiping out, but he's like, I got this. <laughs> I'm a schmuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the apology yes. notepad. Oh, that's your excuse for everything. Yeah, for everything. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at these funny little notepads, and um, this is like the passive-aggressive notepad, paper tantrum, <laughs> and like they even have mash. They have a grocery list. This is an innovative idea. This is pretty funny. Look at this: Whiskey River Soap Company bath bomb, writer's block. It smells like regurgitated ideas and probably a vampire. <laughs> But this is hilarious. Soap for grammar police. Smells like you're annoying. Ah ha ha, it's so easy to get under your skin. <laughs> it smells really good though. That smells really good. Cheap whiskey scent. Oh my god. Artist block. Same thing. Zaps and plausible plots. Eliminates derivative work. Better for your liver. That's funny. It smells good. I'm hating that music though. I'm directly under the thing and it's loud and obnoxious and not usually what they play in here. I just discovered this little Plush Buddies thing over in like the, the kids section. And it's full of machines in the bottom. I found this Christmas one that has been long forgotten about. I don't think there's like on sale or anything. Yeah, there's like a ton of machine in the bottom and there's the pizza one. Oh, there's a book. I didn't know there was a book one. Oh, I gotta get him out. Oh God, I gotta put you guys down for this. Yeah, this thing was basically stuffed full of machine. That's like basically all that's in it. That's insane. And I found a potato chip machine. And look, the bag actually crinkles. And here's the ice cream cone one. And dinosaur machine. <laughs> Unicorn one. And the Christmas cocoa one. Oh, where's Mike? I gotta show him. <laughs>
getting out of me right now. It's fine, it's cute. Oh. It's our last shopping trip at Books A Million. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh god, these are scary. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, but I mean they're cute, but I don't want to see it on a person. I'm gonna stop it. I can't carry you and everything else, so I gotta put you away. We came for foodstuffs to this place that we discovered last time we were here. Uh, by accident, actually. And it's called Pita's Republic. I think that's super clever. They have really nami pitas. Oh, and a bathroom. They have Nami bathrooms. Yes. <laughs> it's so clean. It just looks yeah. super clean. Mm. I love those vine designs. This place is so nice. I really don't get why it's not busier. Mm. Like, both times we come in, it really oh is. Look at that hearty. Look at how dirty I got. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> better than Juicy Mike's, better than Qdoba, better than Chipotle. Mm hmm. Any other place I can think of, better than Moe's. I know, and they're super friendly too. Mm -hmm. That guy is like so clean. friendly. It's it is, it's clean. super clean in here. Yeah. And now we've come to Noblings in Brandon. You prefer this one as opposed to the one that's near where we live. This is sad. I'm sad. <laughs> Thanks. I find it hilarious, by the way, that the vegan book is right next to the paleo book. <laughs> It's like complete opposite mm -hmm. things. Here's a here's a sample meal for this paleo thing. For breakfast, vanilla quinoa cereal. I know you eat quinoa, but that even sounds weird. Lunch, yeah. lettuce wraps with spicy chicken. Dinner, beef stroganoff. That sounds good. And dessert, strawberry ice cream. Breakfast, crunchy almond granola. What the hell's wrong with yeah. eggs? Like who doesn't eat eggs? Lunch, turkey burgers with plum salsa. Dinner, tomato baked a halibut. That sounds good. Oh. Dessert, apple pie, cupcakes with spice frosting. Like, why even dessert? I wouldn't even. Creamy baked eggs for breakfast. No. Barbecue chicken fingers, homestyle meatloaf for dinner, and dessert poached pears. That's day 13. I can get behind day 13. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever this music is that's playing, it's making me physically sick. <laughs> Oh, that hurts my ears. Oh. Oh. I have to suffer. You guys have to watch me suffer. That's the deal. That's what you signed up for when you clicked subscribe. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't clicked subscribe yet, please, please do it. That would be really awesome. Yeah, it would be awesome. Because, you know, if you don't, then you're not going to see videos of cool things like this. The Bon Bon elephant stack of whatever the heck that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Mike's taking pictures of... Remember yeah, to remember. <laughs> and I'll just document real quick. This is where we always used to sit in the cafe. Right there. You get a lemon bar and coffee and water and just sit and talk and hang out. Should have documented the same thing in Books A Million, but I wasn't thinking about it. Because I'm just going about things like normal and not thinking about like, hey, this is our last time here, probably. Oh, it's starting to get sad, you guys. <laughs> this close and I get the entire thing in the picture. I know, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there goes love. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I just shot a few videos. I don't know what that was. Yeah, you know what? We still have our Christmas tree up. Shut up, okay? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's really nice out tonight. We have all the, the doors open and the windows and everything. You know, all two windows and all two doors. 
Because who doesn't want half of their apartment just one big door? Stupid. Anyways, I'm about to eat my um, leftover macaroni and cheese with uh, turkey burger stuff in it. It's amazing. I'm going to do a cooking video on this sometime because it's freaking good. I'm going to hang out with Mike and the cats because I like love them and stuff. I love you guys too, but I hung out with you all day. So, see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe and click the little bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I promise to tell you where we're moving to soon. Maybe I'll make a little game out of it or something. That'd be fun. Okay, bye.